Monster Harvest. I wasn't sure if I would like this game until I tried the demo. Now I am absolutely hooked. In this video, I will give you 5 reasons why you should give Monster Harvest a try. Alrighty, let's get started. Do you love Stardew Valley? Well, of course you do! Stardew Valley is just amazing, fun and quite addictive. So who wouldn't love it? Well, do you love Pokemon? Another silly question. Pokemon games and even the anime are extremely fun and enjoyable. But Monster Harvest combines these two very different games in a way that just feels right. In Monster Harvest, you plant crops by hoeing the ground, placing the seeds and then watering the crops every day. Once the crops have fully matured, you can harvest them, sell them, eat them for energy or use them as ingredients in cooked food. But you can also mix different types of slime into your crops to mutate your crops into living creatures. You can use a red slime on a crop to turn it into a plant animal. Each crop will create a different plant animal. For example, using red slime on a potato will create a mutato, a mutant potato. Using a red slime on a radish will make it a rat cross plant animal. And using a green slime will cause your crop to grow instantly. These creatures that are mutated from the red slimes will be used exclusively for combat in the dungeon. But if you use a blue slime, it will create a different looking creature that is effectively used as livestock on your farm. They will stay in your barn and will probably produce animal products or something in the line of that. From my experience with the demo, I can just say that it was a fun twist on farming simulators. You need to balance growing crops to sell and turning crops into plant animals for combat. I can't wait to see what other cute plant animals I will be able to create and take into the dungeon with me. Speaking of dungeons and combat, this game has a very interesting combat and dungeon diving mechanic. I know many Sordi Valley players don't actually like the combat aspects of the game and often dread diving into the Skull Cavern. Well, Monster Harvest does it in a completely different and unique way. First, you can only enter the dungeon at night. Time also works very differently in this game, but let me not get distracted. In short, you spend your day doing stuff on your farm and interacting with the townspeople, and then you as the player decides when it becomes night. Meaning you can take as long as you want to do everything you wanted to do during the day, and then you can take as long as you want to dive into the dungeon and slay enemies. Anyway, when you enter the dungeon, you will enter on floor 1, and each floor has many rooms. You will then explore each room one at a time until you find a boss. Defeating the boss will advance you to the next floor where you will have to adventure through the rooms again and find a boss to get to the next floor. It has roguelike vibes actually. When you see an enemy, you need to strike it with your sword to initiate combat. Combat in this game is turn based, but if you strike the enemy before it strikes you, you will get to go first. Once combat has been initiated, it's a very simple turn based combat where you hit the enemy with one of your three abilities until the enemy is defeated. When your plant animal dies in combat, it dies. It cannot be revived and reused and this sounds absolutely devastating, right? Well, that's what I thought at first as well. But when one of your followers die, you will gain these hard things and they are used to upgrade the quality of your soil at your farm. When you mutate your crops into plant animals, they will appear as level 1. Each time you upgrade your soil, they will appear at a higher level. So, your fallen allies are effectively buffing your future plant animals. This is a very unique and interesting system, and I cannot wait to see how far we can take this. This mechanic just echoes fun experimentation. And if you are not new to my channel, you know I will do some weird stuff with this. I personally think one of the most important things about any game is just how it feels to play. The art style is a little bit different, but it actually works very well. Paired with the fluid animations and sound effects, the game just feels enjoyable to play even when you're doing mundane tasks like watering your crops or just exploring the world. The art 
does look a little bit weird at first and the townspeople have the weirdest models but I got used to it very quickly actually. I think there are some things that could be improved upon like the user interface and the turn-based combat feels a little bit clunky but it's definitely not a showstopper for me. If you are enjoying this video so far, consider hitting that subscribe button. I have released a ton of videos on Stardew Valley and will continue to release many many more. I am also streaming Animal Crossing on my Twitch channel, so if you want to catch me live, check out the link in the description below. There is a free demo that you can play on Steam and on the Nintendo Switch right now. The demo allows you to play the first 10 days in the game and there is a lot to do in those first 10 days. I played the entire demo and I actually really loved it. I cannot wait for the full release on the 31st of August because I will definitely be picking this up. Having a free playable demo is actually just great because it allows you to try out the game before spending money. Usually we get to try a game for what 2 hours so we can still refund it if we don't like it. But the demo allows us to play quite a bit more than just 2 hours allowing us to really tell if we might like the game or not. So yeah, if you are still on the fence, just give the demo a try and it will cost you nothing. This reason might be considered a little bit controversial, but I will stand by it. This game is being fully released. More specifically, the game will not be released in an early access state. And I am all for it. There are so many farming sim games that seemingly pop out of nowhere, but they are all being released in an incomplete or even incredibly buggy state. And this is my opinion, I just prefer it when a game is released with all of its features and has been tested thoroughly by the developers. Usually games in early access lack some of the core gameplay features that they promise and they always lack quality of life features. To be honest, those small things that don't actually impact the core gameplay do make a huge difference in my opinion. The game has also been delayed a few times, which is actually a good thing. I would much rather have the developers delay the release of the game in order to give them more time to polish the game and just make it better. Monster Harvest is a very interesting game that is inspired by Stardew Valley and the Pokemon games. It is definitely a unique game that somehow merged the games we love in a way that plays very well and is quite enjoyable to play. It has the right amount of difficulty at night in the dungeon and the relaxation during the day when tending to your farm. If you are looking for something new to play, this is not a carbon copy of Stardew Valley or Pokemon, then you should definitely try out Monster Harvest. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have tried the demo, please let me know what you liked about the game and what you didn't like about it in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.